What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Big Cat. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Star Toys. In today's video, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Star Toys 01. Commander G-A-S-T-01. A third-party masterpiece version of Blitzwing. Very excited for this. Let's get into it. Now, the purple is not coming up on camera as it should. In real life, it's a bit more purpley. Purpley. There's a bit more purple to it. And even, I think in this version, I think this is the 2.0 version that I got. I missed out on the first release, but this one has a slightly darker tan, I think. I think. Anyways, from detail to paintwork, the G1 aesthetic cannot be denied. He looks fantastic. The yellow and red bits on his head are painted, along with his chest. Tracks are painted. And at his feet, with some of the wingtips being painted yellow and red. Just looks fantastic. I've always loved Blitzwing. I have a soft spot for triple changers. Uh, and they don't disappoint with this guy. The engineering is fucking fantastic. Um, he's fun to play around with. He's sturdy. I mean, solid. For accessories, we get his purple blaster. Nicely sculpted. We get his sword. The yellow bit is painted there. Looks good. Also, it works with the peg system. So that pegs into his hands. And he holds on securely to his weapons. We also have another faceplate inside a reusable dime bag. So you take out the faceplate from the dime bag. And here we go. I haven't changed his face, but I'm sure it's not that hard. There we go. His mouth is slightly open. All right, let's get into articulation. The turret, of course, can move. His head, his head, down like that. Up like that, if you unpeg it. A little bit of side to side. And, of course, 360. Arms, T-pose. Now, the ratchet is pretty sturdy. In the shoulder, we have a bicep swivel. A double jointed elbow. We have an ab crunch. We have twist at the waist. Everything gets hindered by his backpack. Oh, back to the hands, I forgot. So his fist, his fisty wristy can do a full 360, and all his digits are articulated. Every single digit, every piece of the finger articulated, all of them, good stuff. Go you know, at the waist, you have a skirt that can be lifted to help with a kick. Very nice ratchet in there. Back like that, hindered by that thing, you know, his backpack. Um, out like that, really good, really good stuff. We've got a thigh swivel and a single jointed knee gets you 90 degrees. We also have ankle tilt, very nicely done. Toe can go up, but sadly cannot go down. Articulation. Sticking Blitzwing to the side, we're gonna do some size comparisons next to Deformation Space Starscream. Deformation Space Blaster, Transform Element Optimus Prime, Robot Paradise, Soundwave, SS86 Swoop, 30 MDLX Megatron, Pyramid Thingy Head, and last but goddamn certainly not least, the Orb, representing Marvel Legends around the world. So here we have Blitzwing all transformed into his jet mode and looking fantastic. Like he came right out of the cartoon. More purple than tan. 
turret down here. Nice and covered. Very nice. His fists with the vents. Just tons of great detail. You can't open the canopy, so that's a bit of a bummer. But you have landing gear here. And at two points there on the bottom. Looking really good. Do a little bit of a comparison. Here he is next to... An MP Starscream in his jet mode. This is the Eagle EG01, I forget. It's the third party Starscream. So there we go. Blitzwing is bigger, but he is a triple changer, so. Difficult with my setup to get them both in the shot, but there you go. There's Blitzwing. There is Screamer. Star Scream is longer. And next to Masterpiece Sideswipe. Need to see some of that. There's some of that. All right, and here we got Blitzwing all transformed into his tank mode. Another enjoyable transformation. I think this is a different tan than the first version. I'm pretty sure it's a darker tan. People complained about the uh, colorway a little bit with version one. This is the second version, so I think they made it a tad bit darker. And that works. He looks really good. Yeah. Like I said, transformation was pretty fun. He has trouble staying together a little bit in the middle, but that could just be my copy. You see the tab there. Kind of wants to uh, shove itself out. Um, just to say, I didn't tab the tank turret in. You see there's a tab here. There's also tabs on the inside. And I just... You're supposed to really push it down. It's supposed to click in, but I don't want to. I just don't feel the need to do it. But, I mean, look... Look at that reach, you guys. It becomes artillery with this now. Turret goes full 360. Mine does more because I don't have it tabbed in. Turret goes in and out. And up and down. Very nice. It's unfortunate you have these screws here that stick out, but it's due to transformation and easy to forget when you have them like that. We'll quickly do a comparison for size. There he is next to Masterpiece Sideswipe. I don't know why I said Sideswipe like that. It's just a fun name to say in different ways. Sideswipe. Sideswipe. There you go. Nice scale, I think. Is on top. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for our look at Star Toys 01 Blitzwing. And oh my god, he is good. Highly recommended. I mean, this figure kicks ass. All three modes from jet to tank to bot mode are all faithful to the G1 aesthetic. They, it, they're all sturdy, they feel great. This is just a great transformer. Just cool shit. ST01, highly recommended. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you so choose. I'm the Big Cat, I'll catch you next time.